So Inventor 2020 includes the modernization of some of our more commonly used features. In this release, this includes the thread feature, sweeps, revolves, and also extrude. And they all kind of follow a similar, similar process, similar workflow. So I'm going to start with extrude and notice how it uses the palette now. Now with the palette, I could take this, I could actually dock it within the, along with the other browser tabs. I could take this and I could dock it beside it. I could take this and I can resize it. So notice I can kind of drag it and drop it to change size of it. One thing I really appreciate about this is everything's in one tab, one area. So no longer do I gotta bounce back and forth between the various various tabs to see all of the options. Now, if you're looking for some specifics options, it's up in the hamburger icon in the upper corner. So you can see now the default is to keep sketch visibles is turned on. And I also have an option here to hide the presets. So the presets just disappear and maybe I don't use presets for extrudes. So I'm just going to hide it just to give me a little bit more real estate. Now, since there was only a singular closed region, it's automatically selected that and it's going from sketch plane one, which is fine in this instance. Now within the behaviors, we're going to go in one direction, but just like past releases, I can flip this. I can do asymmetrical options. Um, you can see here that right now my selector style is based on icons, but if I prefer, I can actually switch the drop down to make it a little bit more like past releases. So I might just say, you know, default direction or down at the bottom here when you're on the, on the drop down approach, I can switch into toggles. Now the distance I'm okay with one, we're not going to apply a taper and maybe I know that I'm going to want to, I'm going to do more on extrusions. So I could click the plus sign and it would leave me in the extrude feature. Whereas if I click OK, then what's going to happen is just going to generate that feature. So I'm going to click OK and we've generated that extrusion. Now if I make any changes to it, it's going to use the same palette. So you're in one location um, and that's what's going to, going to happen with it. Now another thing that's kind of neat about this is the breadcrumb along the top here. So I can actually click on sketch one and notice that it collapses. So I'm now in the sketch in mode, sketch environment, but still within the extrude dialog. So it's put me into the, the sketch environment. I'm going to add a circle. I'm also going to change the length here from three inches to four inches. So I'm going to click finish to the sketch and notice that it, it generated and updated that feature. Now, if I had stayed in there, so let's go back into that feature and I'm going to click on sketch one. Let's say that we've decided to dimension this circle. So we'll start dimension. And what I'm going to do is before I, cl before I click finish to sketch, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the breadcrumb and go back to the extrusion. So now what I can do is I can say, well, my profile isn't quite what I wanted. I actually didn't want to include that circle. So the idea is that you can bounce back and forth between sketch and feature. So whether it's extrude or revolve or sweep without actually leaving the command. Nice little touch here to kind of simplify and be able to move back and forth until you're happy. So I'm going to click OK and we can see how it's updated that feature. Okay, well, I'm going to create a new sketch. So we'll just use the the on-screen ability here, well, we'll, we'll create a new sketch. We'll create a rectangle. And what I want to do is I want to extrude this, and what I want to do is I want to do it as a cut, and I want to extrude all. So we can see that we're now going to do an extrude through all. And what I want to do is I want to add this as a preset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this through all. Oh, it turns out I already had a through all in there so it's uh, put it with the, with a one so what we'll do is we'll we'll delete that option and we can see we can use the through all option so with the through all option now it's automatically set this to a cut and it's set this to through all so maybe what i'd like to do as well is maybe we want to rename this so we'll say through all and we'll call this a cut and what I want to do is I want this now to become my default. So what I'm able to say is that, well, any new extrusion I do from this point forward, I want this to default to my through all cut option. 
So you can see that you can have a, basically an unlimited amount of presets and these presets can do various things and you can either set it as the current or you can sort them differently. So it just gives you a, the ability to capture some of your, your frequently used options. Okay, so we can see that that's, that's uh, good to go. And I'll click OK and it's now generated that, that through all cut for me. One last thing here I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, another new sketch and we'll just create a rectangle again and I'm going to use the extrude option. But I don't really want to start at that location. What I want to do is I want to start my extrude from that other face. So not a new feature, I just wanted to show that really everything that was included within previous releases of Inventor is contained within the new modernized palette approach. So I've only shown the extrusion in this one, but you'll get the same idea, same process, whether you're using Revolve, you're using Sweep, or even things like Thread now. So when I start Thread, notice that it's one palette with one tab, no longer do you have the multiple tabs. So I'm able to select the feature, it's applied the default, what it was able to extract from it, I can tweak those, but I'll click OK and it's generated the thread feature for me. So there you have it, there is the modernized UI that's applied to extrude, revolve, sweep, and threads.